morning it is oh my god 10 28 a.m the new year's eve um i just woke up kind of uh yesterday slept at, uh, like well, yesterday i slept at like 1 50 <laughs> and then today i woke up because like the door knocked and then this lady came in and then I, was, I was so tired i didn't even move and she's just like ni hao and then she saw me like sleeping she's like oh and she's like walked away well, i kind of wanted to like clean the place because the bathroom is always wet because of the shower water um um oh my god i'm so tired um oh man so this video is going to be about the weirdest dream i had it wasn't actually that weird or it was kind of weird um before i woke up i remember so clearly it was i had a dream about a school shooting but the shooting was in Baker, um, and it was, it was weird because um, two of my best friends, Wayne and Philip, were in there as well. It's apparently we were doing something there. We were like doing something in the library or something, and all of a sudden, uh, the rumor occurs that there's like a shooting in the school, and then like we start to freak out, and then like, okay, the dream is in, in two parts. The first part is that for some reason. When it was just me, Wayne, and Philip, and then everyone else, like the teachers and everything, all of a sudden the teachers get guns and they defend us. Like the the shooter comes in and they just like all point at him with their own guns. And I'm just like, why is everyone having guns here? So that might be a cue about gun control. But there's that. But then also in the dream like reversed a bit. Apparently I like that idea of school shooting or something. Then just like reversed a bit. And then the dream went um to the actual shooting, in which this time was just me. Um, but it was like, I heard gunshots, I, I felt the emotion of fear, and then I started to run, I ran out of the Baker library, and right before I ran out, I pulled the fire alarm, and then when it looked back on me, there was like water coming down because of the fire alarm for some reason, and the shooter also there like trying to get me, so then I was running, running, etc., um, and then I ran it back into IA, I was safe, um, and then... I noticed a couple people watching the television, um, and then for some reason I think that Dr. Milton was yelling at me for pulling the fire alarm, she was like, dude, I bet there wasn't even a shooter, like, do you know how much it costs to pull the fire alarm? And then all of a sudden she sees the TV, and it was like, the creepiest thing, like, so, pretty much the shooting in my dream was, they were having a band orchestra concert, and then all of a sudden the guy in the front row gets up and starts shooting, and at first it looked like paintball guns, to be honest, it was just like, one hit, one hit, one hit. Like some people were freaking out because it doesn't like blood. And all of a sudden he just like oozy out and just like starts like massacring. Um, but like not many people died. Okay, kind of few. Um, so that was an interesting dream. Um, and then an adult behind him got the oozy out of his hands. And then for some reason when he's unarmed, no one dared to like be near him like no one dared to like tackle him he's just like standing there awkwardly and just like that's weird um so there's that part of the dream yeah so it was in two parts first of all yeah i did dream about um way to film and we do a project apparently and then i don't you know it's weird for the dream for some reason i didn't dream about uh let me see i'm trying to remember the dream I can't remember it clearly now. I can't remember it clearly. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. But anyways, uh, when the uh, when the shooter guy got disarmed, he pulled out this smoke bomb. Apparently, and he just threw it on the ground. But it took it took ten seconds for it to activate. So he's just like there, counting down from ten, and everyone there is just standing like I'm like. It's a weird dream. It was just, just like whatever, and then also the smoke bomb occurs, and then he just like runs out, obviously. But there's that. Oh my god. Um. For some reason, when I dreamed about Wayne and Philip, they weren't together. It was like they were, we were doing a project, but they were in two different areas, and I was just going back and forth to see Wayne, to see Philip, to see Wayne, to see. So that was a weird dream as well. It makes me miss home. But my break is almost over. Remember yesterday, um, I said that I thought today, I thought yesterday was Saturday, and yesterday was Sunday, meaning today's Monday. So that means I don't have any days left. Mm -mm, I hate missing a day. Um, also, apparently tomorrow, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, 
they don't have okay here's a weird schedule for the orphans tuesday wednesday thursday they don't have school because of new year's but friday saturday and sunday they have school meaning this whole week will be friday saturday sunday school next monday tuesday wednesday Thursday, friday so it's eight days of school in a row and i was talking to Grady about it i was like wait is that really bad he's like no a lot of kids like school like they don't like not having school because when they're school there's something to do you know they can play with teachers they can do things they can get rewards for learning you know it's fun for them like, oh okay i mean if it was ia with eight days of school in a row we would die period we would on the on the eighth day no one would like be alive okay we'd be different people um also a few videos back i was talking and then i hit myself in the eye and I bruised myself very badly. If you can find that video and post it in the comments, I'll give you a hug. But the thing is that I, I really bruised myself badly because every time I blink hard now, it hurts. Yeah, I actually bruised myself pretty badly. Um, so with having only like five days left, I still have four sausages. So that's good. That's dinner. Uh, uh, let's see. Last story before I go. Yesterday, I, I meant to say this in the vlog yesterday, but I never had a chance to. Yesterday, when I was going to see Grady, and I went to his house. Um, first of all, I feel bad. Whenever I go to Grady's house, there's always these little kids that want to play with me. Then I play with them. And then I feel bad because I want to play with Grady as well. I feel like he's just like, oh, you know, like Kevin, like so little kids more than me. I was like, oh. Um, no, he, I don't, I doubt he feels that, but, um, okay. So Grady's house, the house of love, has this one kid. Her name is Tess. T E S S. It is the funniest thing because she, she like she, on the first day when I went there, she would, like come to me. She like tuck in my pants, you know, and then I like pull her up because that's what she wants. Like, you know, she wants me to pick her up. And that's fine. And once I pick her up, though, she like starts to point to things that she wants that she can't get, like these really big toys on the top shelf that aren't meant to be played with but she just points to them and just like well i can't really deny you and I, but i can't really give it to you so what do i do you know so fast forward a bit to yesterday tess is greedy very greedy no no she's she's mean I mean, like she she loves me she wants to pick her up etc like she always does and then she like walk away to Grady or play with Grady. And then the second another orphan comes and wants to be picked up by me, Tess pushes the person away. Doesn't 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 like 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 shove. I don't mean like kind of shove, but more like push. More like oh, you fall on the floor. I don't care. So she does that, and then she like puts her arms around me again. Like she wants to be picked up again. I'm just like. Oh, so the second any orphan comes, no matter how big, like seriously, she's like, I don't know, I can look it up right now. She's like, you see, I can't tell how young youngsters are, because I just can't. Tess, anti, she is born on the 9th, and she's like three years old. Oh, that's gonna be young. He's like three years old, about to turn four. Um, if I did my math right, oh, actually, maybe she's three years old, four years old, once turn, or whatever. This is New Year's, whatever. So, um, yeah, but there'll be some kids that are like 11 years old and she just pushes away. But those kids have like mental disability, whereas Tess doesn't really have a disability, I don't think. But then, uh, of course, they all have one here, but I don't know. But then Tess just like overpowers people by the sheer fact that she can like think straight without having ADD or anything. And just be like, no, he's mine. Push. No, he's mine. Push. So he, oh my god, like, I can't even talk to Grady. She just what, wants attention. And like, so eventually when I don't pick her up, I would like, I would hold her arms and then pull her up like that, which makes me afraid that I'm like gonna break her arms. But then she gets used to that so now whenever i hold her arms okay even if she's on the floor she lets go of her feet like she's like drops and it's like oh my god when are you gonna do that i'm not gonna be ready and i'm just gonna like drop you okay and then she'll hit her head really hard and right now when i hold her she just drops on the floor and just swings and that's what i do i hold her now whenever i hold her i like, pray for dear god i don't drop her because that'll be really bad 
Um, but that's the morning vlog for today. I will happy New Year's Eve. Yes. Okay. Today, tonight, I'm gonna step up to a really late at 3 a.m. Um, because of the fact that it's New Year's and it's a party day. So, yes. Good night, guys. Yeah. Well, yeah, for you guys, it's like 9:39 p.m. So. <sighs> That's a lame ending. I miss my friends. I miss home. But like here. Oh, that's a better ending. <laughs> Bye, guys. Peace.